Take my hand and hold it tight. William, William, Henry, Stephen, Henry, Richard, John. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rosie and I'm a research assistant at the University of Cambridge and I'm pointing that way because I need to leave out of the door to go into work right now. And I'm heading to the Classics Library to work this morning. It's literally quicker to walk, but it was here today and it's Monday. I'm gonna get ready for Zumba that I have this evening and I'll probably also do some more work because basically I want to finish this corrections document that I've been doing for the last few days today so then I can really focus on actual stuff for my project work. I have so much to do but this needs to be done tonight. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm so silly. Uh, I just set off for Zumba I looked at my phone and saw the time and saw seven and was like, no, that's not right. It starts at seven. It was seven. And for some reason I had to convince myself it started at quarter past seven when it starts at seven. And I knew it started at seven. I literally wrote it in my diary that it starts at seven. I wasn't supposed to leave at seven. I was supposed to arrive at seven. Little evening update. I'm currently writing again. Here. I haven't been writing for very long and I won't be working for much longer. I've really only got a few more paragraphs to go through and refine based on the comments I got from reviewers. So this is my research paper that I submitted in May. This is actually a different journal than the original one I submitted it to because they suggested that I submit it to a slightly different journal that was a bit more better suited to the paper. This has now been through the review process and I'm making my corrections to resubmit. It's a long process. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is 10 to 9, so I need to sit down um, and start work. I'm just gonna get myself a coffee. Have breakfast in a little bit. Actually, no, that's a lie. I need to have breakfast now because I have Spanish at 11. Okay, I didn't really think this through. I think I will have yogurt and raspberries. Nearly dropped that on the ground. Lovely. That'll do for now. If I'm hungry in a bit, I'll have something else. I really do look like the moon. Oh, I don't even have to make myself a coffee because I have this. Yay! I treated myself. With the thought process being that this is still, this was like three pounds. I think, which is cheaper than me buying one at Costa or wherever you would buy a coffee out. So that's the thought process. I also could have just made it myself from scratch. Mmm, that's good. I've never had that before. Good check. 
have my Levi's from Vinted. They are ribcage Levi's. This is from Vinted. This was from a small business on eBay. A lot of the things that I wear now, if in doubt, it's from Vinted or from a charity shop. I think it's just a whole hobby in itself. Like, you have to actively search for something that you genuinely really like. And for me, this is the only way I've been able to get designer things. And when I say designer, I mean things like Levi's, things like actual branded Converse. <laughs> These were a tenner. And they're gonna last me for years. nervous about this class because it is a level B1.1 and I'm not really at that level yet. So you investigadora? Archaeologica. In este momento estoy investigando arqueología de Colombia. No en este momento. En septiembre voy a viajar a Colombia. My Spanish lesson was actually really good. I don't know what I was nervous for. Silly. It's silly because it's just a class to learn and have fun. And it was good, actually. Evening, I'm back from work. I've basically just read my book since I got back from work, like 15 minutes scrolling on TikTok then read my book for over an hour. I don't know how that happened. Now I am putting a wash on. So um, yeah, that's a really exciting evening. I love the people and the people love me so much that they restored the English monarchy. Hello, I'm in the paleo lab at work, which is in a different building to my actual office. And I'm basically just doing some scanning. And this is all experimental 3D scanning with shiny artifacts because we're trying to find a way for it to work basically and this is just going to kick my sample off any second now. Oh no, it's clamped in. <laughs> it does this thing where if it's laying flat and then it spins around and it finishes, then it falls off so you have to catch it. But we're basically just trying to make the best method for this because it doesn't deal well with shiny things. <laughs> and so we're trying to see if we can get around it somehow, basically. Good morning! I'm at home again because I've got Spanish today. Where is this little hole? Can anyone else just like never find the hole in their earrings? My plan of action for the day is Spanish at 11 to 12. Then I'll go into the office. Well, I'll have some lunch here first and then go into the office for the afternoon. But before my Spanish lesson, one, I need to prepare a little bit, but that's just kind of 20 minutes before. What I need to do is a lot of lab admin stuff which isn't very exciting, I apologise. So we have some desiccators in the lab which basically store people's polished blocks, people's samples and standards. I have been through, made like a big list of what's on every shelf, who it belongs to, what site it's from, how old it is, everything like that. So basically now I'm just going to corroborate my list with one that already exists. The one that already exists has more information, so they get uploaded by the people whose samples they are. It'll tell you where they should be, what they've been doing with them, what they're for, what project they're on, all of that information. And I just need to make sure that the locations on the big spreadsheet are the same as the ones on mine. So basically I need to check if anybody has taken any samples or moved any samples or added new samples to the desiccators in the lab and not updated the big spreadsheet.
rookie error. Obviously, everything is still on my bed because I completely forgot. Hello, it is Friday today, last day of the week. I'm going on holiday tomorrow, so I'm very excited. I'm literally just going to a village in the middle of nowhere in the south of England with my parents, and I'll be turning 25 there. So, basically, it's birthday week starting tomorrow, and I'm very excited. <laughs> it's currently 7.15 in the morning. I don't know how I got up this early. Usually I get out of bed at the last minute. <laughs> but I've got up today to do a workout. I'm gonna do a 30 minute, like low, mid impact workout whilst watching an episode of Heartstopper because that's more appealing to me than just doing a workout without anything else to do at the same time. What did you get? Chicken noodles. Is that how you call it? Like a, yeah, wok fried noodles with chicken. Oh, yeah. You see, this is this what I was scared of. Uh, I think that's chili oil. Yeah, but it's open. Oh. Uh -huh. I don't have napkin. So today, I'm going to be teaching you a lazy twerk. <laughs> It's Saturday. I wasn't actually going to continue filming today, but then my filming yesterday went terribly, as I'm sure you can probably tell from the fact there was only about three clips. <laughs> I basically did my workout in the morning, had breakfast, worked, came home, cleaned the whole house, and then went to Mariana's. It wasn't very exciting, and I just, it wasn't even in my mind that I was meant to be filming. Whoops, terrible vlogger. I know. Today I am going on holiday with my parents. I'm getting a train at some point this afternoon, but first I'm going to Zumba. I've got some yogurt and strawberries. No, I haven't. I've got yogurt and raspberries. And I am gonna do some work today, not work from my nine to five, like, well, actually, yeah, kind of is. I need to finish the presentation that I'm giving for the Sutton Trust because even though like I am on holiday now, that presentation needs to be ready and it's my fault that it isn't ready yet. So I need to do it. I also need to keep doing smallpox stuff. This week is reserved as kind of a working, like a writer's retreat week for me. We get a lot of holidays in academia, or at least I do anyway, we do at Cambridge. And I think a lot of those holidays are actually meant for this sort of thing. That's how I feel anyway. I guess you don't have to use it for that. But from what I can tell, a lot of people use them for things like field work, for writing. And that's what I'm going to do. I enjoy writing about my smallpox stuff. And I'm going to be in a nice little village. Very quiet. My parents will cook for me. And it's going to be nice. I'm obviously going to have my birthday off. I'm not going to work every day. <laughs> but this is like the perfect opportunity to work on that because it's not something that I can work on every day in my job because it's not related, unfortunately. Anyway, I'm gonna quit rambling and finish my breakfast. I'll see you after Zumba. This is not the August I was hoping for. <laughs> Zumba wasn't even on. So I just went out and got absolutely drenched. I feel like you can't tell from the full extent of how drenched I am right now for no reason. I did drop off a vintage parcel and I did drop off plastic recycling, but my my shoes just did not keep any water out. It's absolutely tipping it down. I need to now go and have a warm shower before I get ill. And I don't even do any exercise. <laughs> get on to the last train because this one couldn't go any further than this random station in the absolute middle of nowhere that doesn't have toilets or a ticket office or anything or shelter because there's three landslides. So the train has now gone back to Basingstoke and I am waiting for my parents to drive half an hour to come and pick me up. I've never been more desperate for the toilet in my life. Oh, we love British summers and British transport. I'm off to bed now, it's like 
like half 11 and I've been reading for about an hour and a half. So I'm going to end the vlog there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Just a little sneak peek into my life as a research assistant. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, request anything that you want to see. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. We'll keep on pushing anyway.